we're, sorry, we were off camera. I was trying to make sure we got some decent samples going. So, over here is more of the finished product. It's out. It's still kind of warm. But this is the finished product of the fry bread. It's really awesome looking. Sometimes they vary in shape. These turned out oddly more fluffier than usual. So the more usual one is a bit more flat. Kind of like this one. So, a bit more brown, but I'm still getting used to the oil. So, they're really good. And you just have to keep an eye on them because I apparently didn't get a big enough pan. So, they're kind of like dragging on the bottom, which is something that usually doesn't happen. But as it is, I didn't get a big enough can, probably didn't put enough oil in it, but it works. It, do, it serves its purpose. This is my personal take. I do not like having bubbles or slikes in my bread, so I try to pop them with my tongs. It sizzles, sizzles, sizzles. Sizzle. And reviewing. We get our reviewing, in case you guys missed that last part, because I have technical difficulties. You got some dough, and you get it in like a ball here. And it's probably, that's how you tell how much you need. So you have to put them back, you put them back. So you get it in a ball thing. Then you put it on the counter, which you have to wash first, because I think this is a college campus. Um, how do you light fold the damn thing? So, get that. Just when you figure out it's too small, so you add a little bit more. Make it into a ball again. Oh, it's burning. It's burning. Oh, hold on. What not to do? Do not lose track of your thing. But, huzzah! A lovely golden... I'm sorry, I the floor for like a second there. It's okay. But anyway, huzzah! It's a lovely goldish brown color, which is what you want to look for. It's only darker here because that's where I was touching the pan, where it's usually it's not supposed to, but, you know, what can you do really? Can't really do much. Got something else differently. So, and I, when... Also, guys, when you want to put your bread in some place, have a lot of paper towels, because as you can see here, it's really greasy. Mm -hmm. I know what y'all think it's probably, it looks a little like funnel cake. Yeah. At, you know at those amusement parks, they have, like, those things called funnel cakes? It kind of, it kind of is kind of like that, but this is fry bread. It's something different. And I love It's better than funnel cake. Yeah, it, yeah, that's what I think, too. I don't think it gets all, like, nasty after, like, five minutes. This doesn't. Yeah. No. So, and as I was telling Alexa, um, this is something my grandma told me about fry bread. Like, when Native Americans were moved to reservations and the likes during the whole Western expansion, um, they, the government pretty much gave them rations of, like, flour and yeast and all sorts of things, and since a vast majority of native tribes were hunter-gatherers in the first place. Um, they didn't really know what to do with, like, all that flour and stuff. And I completely forgot how, but somehow, they managed to create fry bread. It's a, I think it's a, that's personally one of my favorite stories, being Native American and all. And it probably kind of varies out, too, because it... Okay, if you guys, if my, some of you guys are Native Americans, you kind of know what I mean if you've been to a few dozen basketball tournaments or baseball tournaments or whatever. But for those of you who don't know what I mean, um, yeah, it, the type of bread from, like, looks to textures to taste, it kind of varies out. Like, one of the, alt, one of the bigger jokes is, like, the Navajo's bread is, like, really greasy and tacos kind of, like, give you really, kind of gives you the runs. Um, you guys figure out, you guys figure out what I mean. I don't mean anything bad by it, I'm just saying it's just a joke. And now, oh, oh tacos, it really isn't that bad. Or at least when my friend doesn't make them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Felicia, I love you. Um, uh, anyway, that's how you get it going. Build it, keep moving around so it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan, which is not supposed to do, I'm getting out of it and did not get the right pan. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes, and I'll show you the finishing touch later. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is it. This is the final product. Nice golden pieces of 
vibrant. They're kind of fluffy, but this one didn't turn out so well. But that's going to happen. So, the finishing touches in this case. Yeah. You just sprinkle it on the top. It's a lot. A lot of it, but then you just spray it out. Yeah. Make it even. Usually I have a spoon, but I don't at the moment because I'm a poor college student. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking project, and hopefully you get to try it. Mm, it's so good. So good.